So now let's discuss the last and the most complicated rule for the nomenclature of saturated hydrocarbons. Now, why is it complex? Because the substitutions involved in this particular rule is very complex. Have a look. I have a compound something like this. Now, you see there are nine carbons in the straight chain. And on the fifth carbon, either from the right side or the left side, on the fifth carbon, you have three more carbons attached. And on the first two carbons of those three carbons, you have one, one carbon each. So that means you have a parent chain, you have a substitution, and those substitutions have one, one substitution each. So that is, you have a substituent, which is a substituted substituent, right? Now, how do we name this? So for naming, the first thing is you have to mark the parent chain. Now for the parent chain, you can easily judge that the nine carbon long chain would be my parent chain. Now, if I start from the right side or the left side, the substitution is on the fifth position itself. So now for naming the substituted substituent, what we'll do is we'll ignore the parent chain. Now, when I ignore the parent chain, the substituent left over here looks something like this, where I have three carbons and two carbons on the first two carbons. So if I ask you to name this, how would you name it? First, you'll find out the longest chain. So if I see the longest chain is this, which is four carbon long. But is that right? No. Over here, you have to remember that the position at which the substituent is connected to the parent chain has to be included while taking the parent chain. So if I take this as the parent chain, then I'm neglecting this point at which it is connected to the parent chain. So my parent chain over here can only be having these three carbons because that point at which the two are connected is over here, right? So that means three carbons is my parent chain. So the name is propane. And on the first and the second position, I have methyl. So the name becomes 1,2-dimethyl propane. And as a substituent is named, recall, methane became methyl when it was a substituent. So similarly, 1,2-dimethyl propane because it's a substituent, will now be called as 1,2-dimethyl propyl and not propane. Now, bringing it back and connecting it to the parent chain, the name would become 5 because this entire substitution is at the fifth position. So, 5 hyphen. Now, this substituted substituent has to be enclosed in a bracket, right? So, this would become 5 hyphen bracket 1, 2, dimethyl propyl bracket close and nine carbon with single bonds each would become non-ane. So yes, this would be the name of the compound.